Alrighty, so this video is part two to the Otto the Odd Ostrich um, gameplay. This is actually going to be like a legit review. So if you guys haven't seen the first video of me actually playing the game, definitely click the link in, in the description down below. Um, it's This right here is just going to be a complete 100% honest interview. So I hope you guys like it. What's going on guys, DJ PRS here, and today we are going to be discussing and like our 100% truthful video on how I play, like enjoyed the beta for Auto the Odd Ostrich. Um, alright, how do I want to start this? It sucked. It 1000% sucked. It was horrible. It's still super buggy. It's... Uh, the RNG is just ridiculous. Uh, the storyline makes no sense. But I I'm going to go uh, piece by piece into what can be done, how it can be fixed. And just like little you know, pointers for the um, guys who made this. Um, I already gave them a shout out in the first video. So there's going to be no shout out in this video. Um, I did get uh, for the main um, guy, Sinner of Herds, who hooked me up with the code. Definitely shout out to him. I've known him for a couple of years. And he told me he's like 100% like don't be you know don't beat around the bush just, just be blunt so let's let's start off this video man okay so first off um, the RNG and the storyline makes no sense um, it's it's really it's a temple run subway surfers type of game um, it's just it's kind of ridiculous in the sense of how they're trying to you know, push this game. Um, it's simple, running in a straight line, or you know, le like you know, like little loop, not loops, uh, curves left and right. You have your magnet, and you have your speed boost shoes. That's pretty cool. But the RNG and the aspect of how enemies and obstacles come your way makes no sense because. I was able to go a certain length without seeing any enemies or obstacles, and I just collected the eggs, which are your points, your currency for this game. Um, it just didn't work out the way that's supposed to, I guess, because in those like those type of free running games, um, I think they're called free running games. Um, you have obstacles and um, enemies. Every RNG, you know, when when you replay it. Um, the replay value, you, you keep it random so that you do get, you know, different ways of how to get these points. Um, the magnet sometimes picked up the eggs, sometimes it didn't pick up the eggs. Um, and then the red eggs were supposed to be bad eggs. Um, I ran through those, didn't lose any points, so that didn't work. Um, apparently there's like different seasons or themes throughout it. So like you start off in the desert, then you go to the snow, and then it gets there's like a, like a spooky Halloween section. That's completely random. That makes no sense. Um, there is like an intro video in the beginning, but it glitched out so hard that I skipped it because it was just unbearable to watch. Um, and, and the main thing, it's on Steam, right? So they're testing the game out on Steam, and rumor has it that they're going to try to charge you $5 for this game. Totally not worth $5 in the aspect of this should be um, an Adobe Flash game. You know, it should be like on a like on a third party website that you know that has games for people to kind of get critiqued and all that. Definitely not worth any money. But that's just me. So um, it, it just it just doesn't work out at all. Um, you know, there's a good mechanics, you know, it's just simple A and D moving left and right, or using the arrow keys left and right. But then there's controller support, which you don't need a controller for this because you're not Oh, and it's like the space part of jump. That's all you need. You don't need a whole controller to how to do that. You're not activating powers. You know, there is no like, there's no boss or nothing. So, you know, you really don't need the compute. I mean, the controller. So, you know. All right, so pointers. Um, the main thing is don't charge people for this. This, this is not worth the money. No offense, it's not worth $5. Um, you know, upload it to the site. You know, get your pointers, you know, have maybe some other, like, um, game developers or whatever, you know, give you some pointers or even try to join in with you to promote this to make it better. Um, definitely clean up on the, um, the whole premise of the game because it just, 
you don't understand what's going on majority of it because the intro video glitched out so hard um i this says this is a beta i hope that's not right it's like an alpha like an alpha 1.5 or 2.0 because if this is in the beta phase i'm really scared to see what the real game comes out to be um but once again you know still thank you for letting me even chat this game um, another thing don't don't try so hard in the sense of making all these different obstacles and um, power up boost because you're still moving out from the original game which is point A to point B and replaying and replaying um, one thing that really didn't work out well was the currency and how to get things because in that space you had one two three you had three different sets of enemies two different forms of eggs which they all looked the same and then you had your power-ups that didn't even work with the game and in the sense of like magnet didn't pick up eggs the speed boost made you invincible but yet you were still invincible for a few other frames after not touching the boots um, but but that's all i really want to get into today you know i'm not i'm not gonna make this a super long video you know it, it, it is what it is mission failed we'll get them again next time all right anyway guys i'm dj prs and I'll catch you guys in the next